Who would have known the British exit from the EU also has consequences for many travelers from Germany. And the number of German citizens rejected at the border has increased massively. So Brexit is making life difficult for many people in Great Britain. Rising prices, problems on the labor market and last but not least new hurdles when traveling are just a few of the consequences of the exit from the European Union. But Brexit also has a negative effect in the other direction. Since the EU exit, the United Kingdom has refused entry to significantly more citizens from Germany and the EU countries. Until 2020, between 20 and 110 Germans per year were initially turned away at British borders. But the numbers skyrocketed after London left the EU Customs Union and the single market. In 2021, it hit 20, uh, 251 Germans and in 22, even 105. That's 10 times as many as in 2019, the last normal year of travel before the pandemic. And this emerges from data from the British Ministry of the Interior, so the Home Office, which the DPA news agency evaluated. And the same development can be observed for the entire EU. Around 16,500 EU citizens were turned away in 21 and just under 17,022. That's almost a sixfold increase compared to 2019. And reasons for a rejection are not given in the data, unfortunately. The British Home Office suggested that those affected had not submitted the necessary documents. And Germans now also need a passport as tourists to enter the United Kingdom. Our ID card is not sufficient anymore. The figures summarize both pre-checks, such as at ports or the Eurostar terminals in the EU, and checks after arrival in the UK. The statistics do not give any indication as to whether the travelers who were initially rejected were allowed to enter Great Britain at a later date either. In 2016, a narrow majority of people in the UK voted in favor of Brexit. The country then left the EU at the end of January 2020. A transitional period applied until the end of the year, but since January 1st, 2021, Great Britain has no longer been a member of the EU Customs Union or the internal market. And since then, EU citizens have also required a visa if they want to live and work in the country. And this does not apply to those who entered the country or who lived there already before the date. The large number of EU citizens who are stopped at the British borders is extremely worrying, said Andrea Dumitrace of the organization The Three Million, which takes care of the rights of EU citizens after Brexit. The Home Office would create a hostile environment. Since Brexit, EU citizens have been treated with distrust, said Dumitrace. And the EU was reluctant. We have closely followed these statistics, which may be a consequence of the end of freedom of movement. That's what it said in a response to a DPA request. In the past, we have had contact with the member states and the British Home Office, they said. In intimate conversations, however, diplomats in London expressed concern about the development. The British government made it clear that the de development is wanted. The British have voted for us to regain control of our borders and that is what we are delivering, said the Home Office in London when asked by the DPA. Border Patrol may stop any arriving passengers for further investigation if they are not immediately satisfied that they are eligible for entry, they say. People from Romania were particularly affected. In 2021, they made up significantly more than half of the initially rejected EU citizens and in 22, just under 50%. The EU and UK Home Office did not respond to specific questions about Romania, though. In contrast to Germany and other EU member states, Great Britain immediately opened up its labor markets to citizens of the new member states after the EU's eastward enlargements in 2004 and 2007. In agriculture and the meat processing industry, numerous workers still come from mainly from Romania and Bulgaria. Since the new Brexit immigration rules came into force, however, there has been a shortage of skilled workers. It is often too expensive and time-consuming for employers to bear the necessary costs and obtain the necessary papers. The British government has therefore made several exceptions. And Brexit has been a major factor in the recent staff shortages in Britain. Before Brexit, EU citizens were able to move freely to the UK to work, study or live 
I did that too for a couple of years. And this meant that there was a large pool of potential workers available to businesses in Britain. However, after Brexit, EU citizens now need a visa to work in the UK. And this has made it more difficult for businesses to find workers, especially in sectors that rely heavily on EU labor, such as hospitality, agriculture and care. A report by the UK government found that there was a shortfall of 330,000 workers in the UK economy in September 22. The report attributed this shortfall to a number of factors, including Brexit, but also the pandemic and aging population. The staff shortages have had a number of negative consequences for businesses in Britain. They have had to raise wages to attract workers, which has put pressure on their profit margins. They have also had to reduce their hours of operation, which has led to longer queues and slower service for customers. In some cases, businesses have been forced to close altogether due to staff shortages. And this has had a knock-on effect on the wider economy as it has reduced consumer spending and led to job losses. The government has taken a number of steps to address the staff shortages, including making it easier for businesses to recruit from outside the UK. However, so far, these measures have not done a lot to solve the problem. The hospitality industry has been hit hard by staff shortages. In 21, the UK hospitality industry had 1.3 million job vacancies, up from 700,000 in 2019. And this is due in part to the fact that many EU citizens who worked in the hospitality industry have left the UK since Brexit. And the agriculture industry is another sector that has been hit hard by staff shortages. In 21, the UK agriculture industry had 50,000 job vacancies, up from 25,000 in 2019. And this is due in part to the fact that many EU citizens worked in agriculture have also left the UK since Brexit. And the care sector has also been hit hard by staff shortages. In 21, the care sector had 100,000 job vacancies, up from 50,000 in 2019. And this is also due in part to the fact that many EU citizens who worked in the care sector have left the UK since Brexit. Those staff shortages caused by Brexit are a major challenge for businesses in Britain. And as I earlier said, they had to raise wages, reduce hours of operation, or like a lot of pubs have just closed. And the steps that the government has taken are far from any help for those people. So Brexit remains a big problem there. And if you want to know more about Brexit or other politics in the UK, the next video is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.